Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now, something new has arrived. Um, you'll, know, you'll know from the title of the, the video what this is, but anyway, I'm going I'm to do it this way anyway. Um, ND5s have arrived much, much quicker than expected. I was, ex- I was thinking whether well, we're looking at sort of September, October before we're going to see these. But no, they must have been ferreting away in the background getting these things sorted out. So yeah, the fives come. No word on the seven yet, but I've got quite high hopes now. That might be quite soon. So um, I'm just going to open the box and let you have a look. I haven't looked inside, to be honest. I've seen I've seen pictures, but I haven't actually seen a cartridge. So we, you can share that joy with me. Okay. <laughs> I'll move the camera and I'll just um, see if I can actually put it in a position where I can actually unbox it in front of you. Okay. Okay, so ND5. Um, as before, come in this cardboard box instead of the sort of acrylic-y um, plastic one that they used to come in before, which was, to be, to be fair, was a really good box, but this is a little bit more eco-friendly. Um, just lifts off. We've got instructions on the outside edge. Um, basically, all the wiring and everything is all on there, so there's no paper insert on these. Um, cartridge is sort of bolted to the bottom insert, so that just lifts out. Toolkit on the bottom, bolted in all three bolts, um, and then there's the instru- instructions for the uh, weight, um, tracking force and that sort of thing is, is on there. So, yeah, uh, lift here. <laughs> so let's just take that, rather than take this Allen key out, I've uh, just got another one. So you also notice on there that there's a little blue, can you see that? A little blue spacer, which that's for if you've got an early RB300 arm, or I think possibly the 250 as well. Some of the, some of the early arms don't have the right size hole. They have a bigger hole at the front for the front bolt. So you need the little spacer just to fill the gap when you tighten it down. And I think possibly, I keep saying this on, on camera and I need to check it. I think the P1 is the is the same. I think with the P1 you'd need to use the spacer, but I, I need to check that out. But anyway, let's take it off the, um, before we have a proper look, we'll take it off the mount. Hopefully, so this replaces the exact. Uh, so it's two hundred ninety-five, two hundred ninety-five pounds. Why do I never check prices before I start saying things out loud? Yeah, something like just under three hundred pounds. <laughs> um, very, very similar in design to the Anya. So we've got like the exposed-looking stylus on the front, front which is. Uh, I must admit, it's much easier to to, to cue when you're using. It's very easy to to find the track you're looking for with, with the, the Andy sort of design. A um, bit easier to actually catch it when you're dusting, to be honest, but probably not that much much more vulnerable, really, in real terms. Let's get the final one up, nearly there. So the little black T-bar there is just basically just part of the packaging. That's just to hold everything together when you're using that. So there we go. So identical to the ND3, except the only way of telling them apart is this has got like a smoked uh, panel on the side instead of the red. Uh, exactly the same moulding, exactly the same colour coding on the back. Uh, better tip on this, this is a new elliptical rather than just a straight elliptical. So the benefits of that will be more open, better definition, better track, well, better tracking really as well. So, but we'll see, because I'll, I'll give this a, a proper run in and run it on a turntable, uh, probably P3 again, just to, because I've got a P3 exact in the shop and I'll just have a, just do a direct swap and just compare it to the exact. I'm, I'm thinking this should be quite a bit more refined and open than the exact. Not that the exact isn't, but I think this is going to take it another step. But we'll see, I'll do, I'll, like I say, I'll do a proper listen to this over the next week or so, and I'll, um, I'll do another review. Still got this horrible, I really don't like this at all, but it, partly because my eyesight isn't great close to like this. So there's a little slot in the front of that, um, and you have to try and get the little protect, little stylus protector that protrudes from the front there to actually locate with that, and it pushes on. Um, potential for mishap on that is quite high, I think, really. <laughs> well, with me it is, anyway. Anyway, that's that. That's the, um, that's the ND5, uh, in fact. Yeah, so there's the ND5. So I just wanted to do a quick video, quick walk around it um, before I actually do any sort of true evaluation. Got a good idea what it's going to sound like, to be honest, because it's if it's anything like the ND3, there should be quite a big jump 
in performance over over is what the exact really, which is surprising because the exact is a really good cartridge. But anyway, I'll, more details on that as we go. Um, if you want to sort of pre-order anyway, um, I have got a bit of stock. Um, I'm hoping to put the, the it's actually onto the website before I leave tonight, which is in about an hour. Um, stock of the ND3 has sort of semi-faltered at the moment. There was supposed to be some more coming this week. I think, hopefully, it'll be early next week now. They were supposed to, it's supposed to be before this weekend, but they haven't arrived yet. So um, I'm hoping early next week. So if you've got one on order, just, you know, just bear with me. They, they are coming. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Um, may, may see you at Christ show tomorrow. I'm, I'll, like I say, I'll probably be there briefly in the morning. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Still trying to weigh up. May not be going on holiday now. Um, we've been struggling to book in anyway, so I may or may not have but more time off to see how it, see how it goes, really. Um, that's it, really. Yeah. Um, don't forget to give a subscribe and a like, and I will see you in a future video. Thank you.